Mm-hmm. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me today for another episode of Ash Conversations, where we kind of go on the backstory of various players and personalities in our scenes. Today, we are joined by Ludwig, who was a well-known Melee commentator and now a blown-up Twitch superstar. How are you doing today, Lud? I'm doing good, Ashcon. I've played Valorant. I've MVP'd five of my six games. I was dragged down to three losses because Aatrox and Stan suck. <laughs> Outside of that, pretty good. What rank are you now? Do you mind if I ask? Silver two. Silver two. Hell yeah. Little, little touchy, but sure. I mean, you know, if you ask women their weight, Ashcon's a little aggressive. <laughs> you know? Hey, man. You're not iron, at least. rank is private. Are you better than Aatrox at Stan's? Easily. That's Sands true. is a higher rank, but I've MVP'd five of six. I mean, that, that, <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. Uh huh. So, um, you know, you hit two years recently, which is yeah. pretty hype. How are you feeling about kind of your two years on Twitch as a streamer and everything? Well, I surprisingly got emotional about it, which I didn't expect. Because, uh, you know, it's just like a year. It's like a, it's like a arbitrary... Mm-hmm. milestone but you know it was cool to hit two years and uh and still have like people from back in the day be uh all nice and supportive and still be around i think that's the cool part is like how long people are watching me now mm-hmm. like i remember when i first got on twitch and i would see like i don't know, like summit or summit or lyric have like four or five year subs or soda popping and thinking yeah. like that's crazy <laughs> and the only thing i would think to myself was like damn that's like 48 months, five bucks. That's like $200. Those people are dumb as fuck. <laughs> and then I got a doctor battle. And so then I'm like, all right, I get it now. That's it. They are dumb as fuck. <laughs> I know all the SoCal boys are so happy for you. Like I got like dinner with Psycho Midget and he's just like, I love Lud and I'm so happy he's big now. I just I miss being able. Him. He's just like, I miss being able to give him a hard time in chat because it goes too he, fast. He can still give me a hard time. He can just do it through Facebook Messenger. It's just different avenues. <laughs> Uh, he's in one of my more egregious clickbait videos <laughs> it's like uh we got a world record together and mm-hmm. i said how i got the world record in pogo stuck <laughs> but it was like it was the day it came out and there was only two other people who had beaten it it's, but uh still world record that's hype what are like i don't know in your two journey two year journey right like what are some of the things that like really surprised you along the way like just things you didn't expect. Cause I feel like you had a pretty solid plan going in. Right. But I'm sure there's things that like caught you off guard and everything. Yeah. I think, uh, I think I was a little surprised that like it, how it doesn't feel very different. I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. feel very different from like, like not a lot of viewers to a lot of viewers mm-hmm. or like when I spike, you know what I mean? Like it never feels different. And it only feels weird if you're getting less than you got the previous day. That's mm-hmm. like one of the set, like you hit like a new milestone. Like I, like I did a YLYL and hit 16 K, mm-hmm. but it didn't feel like 16 K didn't feel different than 10 than six than 200. But then when I, the next stream, I have like eight K it's that feels bad. Mm-hmm. So there's not a lot of feel good with just viewership increase. It's more just like, like, damn, that's a crazy number <laughs> over and over and over again. Uh huh, and that's pretty much it for for like views or subs. I'm just constantly thinking, damn, that's a crazy number. <laughs> that's sick though. I imagine like, do you like just try not to focus on it and let it bother you and whatnot if you see like those spikes? It used to bother me like in j- this year, like January, February. I only streamed like 80 to 100 hours because I just mm-hmm. wanted like juicer streams that had high viewership. But ever since quarantine, viewership's just been up in general. So I just haven't had to worry about it. I haven't had to think about it mm-hmm. since March. Like, I don't know if you've seen like the the, the charts for like Twitch viewership. Yeah, it's like, like insanely up even yeah, during the middle of the day. Before 2020, it, it, like the the most, it's like, it's double the most ever viewers in a month um, before 2020, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. So because of that, I just haven't had to worry about it. Viewership just kills. It's, it's kind of crazy, the situation. I remember there's like a New York Times article where it's like, is the most like COVID proof job being a professional streamer on Twitch? Yeah, <laughs> I, I was originally I was like, oh, you know, COVID, you know, less people going to sub, you know, people, you know, hard times, yada, yada. But it feels like everyone's got more money somehow. Everybody, <laughs> everybody's got a prime, obviously. I will say it does help that Twitch Prime exists. If they ever get rid of Twitch Prime, I'm kind of fucked. <laughs> 
Yeah, I remember when Prime came out, you saw like jumps in streamers in general, because it just yeah, it does a lot for getting people yeah. like on the platform. It's over half of my subs for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know that really. Mm -hmm. It's about like I have like twenty one k subs, and I think it's like eleven or twelve k are primes. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's wild. So if I if I'm not live, I they just they pee pee poof. <laughs> what do you think kind of really helped you? get to where you are today in terms of like what separated you between like other streamers. I think my content was ready for more viewers. Mm -hmm. I feel like I stream the same way for like 200 as I do for like, you know, 10 K, but I, I, I do all the same stuff. Like I did YLYL. I did, I did Amazon streams. I did like <laughs> challenge runs. Like, I don't think the content's changed. Mm -hmm. uh, so I feel like it was ready for like more viewers. Um, and then, you know, they came all from YouTube. Mm -hmm. Pretty much every every viewer came from YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, and I was just kind of lucky, you know. I think it was literally September 13th is the exact day. 2019, so not even that long ago, mm -hmm. is when one of my videos got put in the algorithm. And then it just got <laughs> hella views. And uh, and I probably have to thank, like, the SMP boys. Like, Jay Schlatt and Call Me Carson. Mm -hmm. It was the video featuring them because they were so hot. <laughs> not that they're not hot. I mean, they're still hot men, but they were, they were also hot then. Yeah. And, uh, and it threw me in the algorithm. And then, uh, ever since then, the videos have just been kind of hidden. That's sick. Yeah. I think also what's kind of cool about your rise is like, you're like kind of like in that like top tier of Twitch streamers. Right. And I feel like there's that like general circle, but you're kind of like in your own group still, like you're still yeah. like chilling with the boys like no i've talked about it i'm definitely i feel i feel out of the circle <laughs> in like in most ways like there's like a, i feel like there's all the top streamers like all the people who get on lsf all the time like yeah. you know soda xqc miz all those people and i'm just i'm not in that loop <laughs> i don't i think i share viewers with them yeah or some people know about me just the crossover is not that big and and uh and yeah i just kind of have my own thing which i think exists a lot yeah uh like pay money wubby i think is kind of similar i think it's mainly youtubers mm -hmm. although i consider myself a streamer i can admit my youtube's bigger and most people come from that so mm -hmm. people who are like youtube first kind of have their own pocket i feel like the difference kind of showed last night too because people tried getting you to watch like the h3h3 video and like do a reaction yeah. to it and i was just like yeah. huh that's like more like the other side of twitch and i was like i don't see yeah, that yeah, as yeah. like lead content too <laughs> yeah it's just like I, I think it's interesting because like you know the the sponsorship part of it and like mm -hmm. like the morals of it and people think that's like problematic but then it's like i think that's interesting but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like so outside of it mm -hmm. <laughs> i feel so outside which sometimes i'm sad about like sometimes it'd be cool um to be in it you know what i mean yeah like even for like i remember when i had like two three hundred viewers and gta rp was popping off again and i was like i would i fucking i'd <laughs> bang an rp i'd love to do rp but i was like at that point i was a much smaller streamer too yeah. and i couldn't get in i applied and they rejected me <laughs> and i was like oh and then every big streamer is just getting in you know and i'm like cool, cool is cool, that why you cool, played cool. single player gta then because yeah just... <laughs> yeah i played single player gta and i was literally saying on stream i was like you know, guys, I'm just playing it, and I had a <laughs> command. Exclamation point. I think it's still a command. So you do exclamation point RP, and it says, plan on role-playing, but got rejected three times. <laughs> or got rejected third times the charm. So I think I'll do it eventually. I still want to do it. I think it'd be fun as fuck. Yeah. Um, but maybe I'll wait a bit till uh, it's less stale mm -hmm. for mainstream viewers. I kind of like that you have, like, your own posse, too. Like, I think, like, yeah. one thing that works really well for you is, like, your house like slime aiden neep and nick like yeah. they're all so good in front of camera too like it's hard to yeah, just great. it's hard to just ask someone who's like not a big tweet streamer to just come in front of a camera and be like yo do you want to be part of this because it's it's really difficult like i don't think the average person understands how hard it is to sit in front of a camera yeah. and just do something in front of like ten thousand twitch viewers i think it's the way it's phrased it's never like mm -hmm. hey i got 12k and i need you to do yeah. so it's like Hey Aiden, you want to dye your hair? And he's yeah. like, I want to dye my hair. And I'm like, hell yeah. And then we dye his hair. And that's and that's been it. But yeah, yeah it's been cool. I feel like uh I feel like Lyric too, in a way. Mm -hmm. I feel like Lyric is also kind of like that. I mean, he's only 
play he only plays like well it's like waffle and uh shorty right mm -hmm. that's like his two i got my atrox stands i got my slime chilling uh my chillings yeah yeah it feels good it feels good to do it that way yeah uh and it feels uh it's hard i don't know i did like um i did the one collab with connor mm -hmm. and connor eats pants and he invited like pokey and Miz, yeah and clint and i in those situations i never want to like i i'm usually quieter because i don't want to like take away from it or i don't want i don't know what the vibe is you know what i mean mm -hmm. so uh i think it's a little harder to do mm -hmm. like what do you mean by that though like not knowing like what the vibe is like not. i don't want to be when we did that stream, there's like probably 30, 40,000 people watching like mm -hmm. from different streams or maybe 30,000. And it's like, I don't want to take too much of the show up. You know what I mean? I don't mm -hmm. want to eat up too much of the show because it's not my show anymore. Mm -hmm. And then, so I think it's hard to collab with people who have large streams who you're also not like super friends with because mm -hmm. it's like, there's this like weird dynamic where it's like you're putting on your show and they're putting on their show. Mm -hmm. And if you make your show better, does that detract from their show? And, and like is it worth it and then i feel bad you know mm -hmm. i get it that's good though to like think about that and that's yeah sense, right yeah. uh well i, I think i'm just yeah. a little self-conscious i'll be honest <laughs> self -conscious. <laughs> is there anyone you do want to collab with uh um, like who's your dream collab no it wouldn't be it wouldn't be like i don't know if i have a dream collab per se because uh -huh. it's like I'd want to work with a creator who do something who does something like cool. You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. like not. The, I wouldn't necessarily want to work with Dr. K, because I think that's like a really hard thing to do. You know, Dr. K, right? Yeah, the, uh, I love D Dr. Yeah. K. he's great, yeah. and I think like that kind of collab is sick because it's like so unique and it's so such different content that it'd be cool. But something like that, mm -hmm. I can't think of one off rip. Let's but I think that that's something like that. That's fine. And I think kind of to take things way back and I don't know, something I like to do in interviews is kind of talk about people like when they were younger. Can you mm -hmm. describe what young Ludwig was like? Like as far back as you want to go. As far back as yeah. hey, wherever you gamer want. Gamer through and through. And <laughs> big pussy. <laughs> I would say big gamer and big pussy. Uh and big lull W dropper. That's pretty much uh -huh. it. That's that was like that was like K through twelve. <laughs> Were you like the class uh, clown, and just like yeah, constantly... yeah? I would wait. You know how like cats sneak up on something and they like pounce. Yeah, that was like me quietly waiting in class for like the moment of silence where I can drop a lol W. <laughs> but then you can't drop it too much, or else you're annoying and ruining it. But you know, like you get your two or three a day, uh -huh. and then you're and then your money. <laughs> I dropped one fart in French class, took the house down. It was a test. She was like, all right, everybody start your test. You just wait 10 seconds, and then you let it rip. Um, but yeah, that was it. But then pussy with women, and then big game and outside of that. A I lot see. of Call of Duty zombies. What was your like first exposure with gaming? My first game I beat was Pokemon Snap. We got an N64 and I played Mario. I didn't beat it. I couldn't beat any game. I just remember Bob on Battlefield, mm -hmm. Kokiri Village, and beating Pokemon Snap. And then the first games that I was super into were like, uh, it was Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron for the PSP. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you played that one. I haven't played that one. I didn't have a PSP. It's filthy. It's sick combat. There was a bunch of hackers. I would play that. It was my first competitive multiplayer game. <laughs> And we'd play that. And we'd play Smash a bit, but I was bad. So I just played Puff and mm -hmm. roll out on Bridge of Elden. Because <laughs> loser picked map. It was, you know, and then I'd just wait. And there'd be a free for all. So I'd just wait for everyone else to be in the mix. Mm -hmm. Well, that was it. I, was, I think I was, that was my first game. And then you, you know, you have like your zany sidekick days, right? Like, yeah. Was that just like, I'm guessing like the average middle schooler, like, I want to make. Cod montages and whatnot, or like, yeah, what was the story was behind like, that? It was like watching Hutch and Mr. Phantasmo and being like, they're they're funny, <laughs> you know. I can I can do a little funny, and so I like, 
asked for a Hapaj HD PVR for Christmas and then a mic for my birthday. And then everything came in and I recorded and I uploaded. I remember I actually sent it to a YouTuber Call of Duty YouTuber, Eat My Diction. Because <laughs> he's doing this thing. I watched every Call of Duty YouTuber. Yeah. And he was doing this thing where he was like, yeah, you guys can send me your stuff and I'll, you know, I'll try to look at it. Back mm -hmm. when like YouTube had inboxes that people looked at. Yeah. So I sent and he looked at it. And his comment was pretty, it was like a one sentence. It was like pretty funny, but dog shit quality. And I was like, <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Pretty funny. <laughs> uh, and I made three and then my friend, I showed it to my friends and then they made fun of me for it. So I stopped doing it. Uh, which I don't, I don't blame them for. Cause I think it was cringe. I don't think it was art that was hidden from the world. I think they <laughs> saw it as what other people would see it as. Um, and I just wasn't ready. It wasn't my time yet. It's okay. I have those same cringy Call of Duty YouTube videos. Yeah. Yeah. You still have them on online. Oh, I have them all unlisted. Dude. Oh, I had, I had them unlisted and then I had to, I had to public them chat forced to me it was for the content though so you're right actually oh, let me check real quick this zany <laughs> sidekick how many views does it have how many views is my boy zsk said that isn't it like your childhood dream though now like zany sidekick okay. has thousands of views <laughs> yeah no it's 100 percent is i mean i think every kid goes through it at one point like i don't think every, any kid Everyone always says like, what's your dream? But I think it was yeah. like 50, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think everyone's fascinated about being like, I don't know, cool police firefighter man mm -hmm. or YouTuber. So I think it was just one of them, but it was one of the ones that I pursued a little more than others. Mm -hmm. You know, like I dreamed about being an astronaut, but I didn't take many steps mm -hmm. outside of my B plus in astronomy. <laughs> Pretty good. Do you think those zany sidekick days played a role into kind of pursuing things that you did now like kind of just uh, giving you maybe like that just initial exposure or maybe i mean i think it it made me lie dormant for a while and mm -hmm. you know i understood youtube a bit better i mean just like a bit just like even mm -hmm. like getting started with everything and so then when i did like uh like my first smash combo videos mm -hmm. um you know i was like a little more confident i was a little I didn't have my face in anything and maybe mm -hmm. that's cause any sidekick, but I was still like comfortable uploading shit to YouTube and, uh, and you know, trying to play the YouTube game. That's cool. But I felt more proud. I, I, I was, I, I think it made me feel, try to feel more proud of what I was doing, you know, like make sure that I liked it first. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's really important too. Right. Cause if people try and make things for other people that they're not happy with, it kind of shows. In yeah. The end. Yeah, would you watch yourself? I feel like people don't ask themse themselves that sometimes. It's like, would mm -hmm. you really watch what you just made? Like your your four hour stream of you playing Valorant and you know being in Silver One. Are people? Do you want to watch that? Yeah. And if it's no, then it's like, why are you make it? I feel like that's pretty common advice you give too, right? It's like, why the hell should anyone watch you, right? Like yeah. Just to think yeah, about yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why should they? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. But I feel like people don't really stop to think about it. And it's more like, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to make it. But, you know, I think, I think understand, I've been, I've been trying to like in anything I do, try to find out like uh, what the goal is, mm -hmm. you know, like what's the goal of taking this sponsorship? Is it more money or is it doing something cool mm -hmm. or, you know, what's the goal with the stream? Uh, and I think it makes it easier to kind of formulate it if you know what you're trying to get out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. I'm curious, how did you get into Melee? Because, I mean, that's how I first met you and everything, right? Yeah, but, yeah, it was Melee. Love yeah. me some schmack. What was uh, your first encounter with, like, Melee scene? Like, the Melee scene? Like, how do you even find about like, competitive Melee? Ultimate came out, like, 2014, 13, 14. Mm -hmm. Like, that winter. And I was, I was always worse than my friends at Smash, and I was worse than them in Ultimate when I went back for winter break. Mm -hmm. And so then I was like, I decided to grind the game so I'd be better than them when I went back for spring break. And so like, I just looked up J tails and I saw a bunch of J tails videos uh -huh. and I got better. And then I went home for spring break and I, and I whooped them. <laughs> and then I, uh, 
You mean Smash Four? Smash right? Four, yeah. yeah. I, meant Smash 4. <laughs> I was like, I, I was like, there is no way you're an Ultimate There's, kid. Hey, let's be real, boys. <laughs> same fucking game. All right, yeah, can I we agree. just say it? Can we admit it? The <laughs> graphics are slightly better. What? Are, what? Are they, what's the difference? Yeah. Uh, but I got better at it, and I I whooped my friends' asses, and then I was like, now what? And then they had uh they had tournaments at ASU, like just mm -hmm. free weekly Friday tournaments. I saw like a poster for it and bear it. And so I went. But it was not Smash 4. It was like two Smash 4 setups in the corner and then hella melee. And so I played <laughs> Smash 4 in the corner and then like the setup was taken because there's like eight people but only two setups. So I played like PM with this guy. Mm -hmm. And then the next week I entered melee and I got, I got the dopest rest. I was on Pokemon Stadium because I played Puff in Smash 4 too. So I played Puff in melee. And I went on Pokemon Stadium first time i ever played melee uh and and the guy and it was the transformation with the with the with like the the platforms and the trees yeah and he was on top plat and he was also dog shit and he was shielding and i jumped but i didn't clip all the way through and then i went down he let go of shield i jumped up rested lost the game <laughs> but the rest was it was people pog uh and then after that I, I think you know some time had passed but then i watched like uh uh, it was like February 2015. I watched Apex 2015. Mm -hmm. I watched the doc. And then that summer of 2015, I went to like some tournaments in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I went to like a couple majors. It was like Sandstorm, Paragon, LA. And then I was just kind of in it at that point. Like I went to every weekly and I made a lot of friends in Arizona from it. Who are the uh, people that you like originally hung around at the start? Uh, it was, I mean, it was just like, it, it was all of Cocklot, if you know that. Poop, poop Feast and Cocklot, the Arizona mm -hmm. tribes. It was I was cocklot prodigy like I would uh not prodigy but do you want to talk more about it, the tribes assistant too yeah it's just like the what's the word it's not tribe it's clan uh, crew, 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 crew 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 yeah the crew is cocklot and I and I hung out with people in cocklot I wasn't in it but I hung out with them and so when they had fest I would go over it was like uh, I don't know if you know Ben trash bin no I He's don't like the pup from AZ or Yingling I know Yingling I you probably know yeah. you know Yingling Mikey all those people they were like in it. And so I hung out with them. Actually, at one weekly, I basically let them run a train on me. Like, I'm doc kitted out of my mind. And so, like, you know that one KDJ part? Yeah. You know, where it's like they're playing, he's playing the fucking violin. And he's like, I would money match everyone. <laughs> I was like, yeah. And I, I literally let everybody in Cocklot run a train on me, money matching back to back to back to back. I lost, <laughs> like, six games in a row, like $20 a head. And, uh, and after that, I think they respected me more, but they made fun of me a lot because <laughs> I did not take a game. And the last game was against like Moses DK, which beat my puff when they're all cheering for him. It was, it was tough. It was tough, but it made me a better player. Uh, and also allow to hang out with them without paying the money. <laughs> Do they still give you a hard time or, uh, I mean like we're friends now, so it's yeah. like, you know. We're just friends. Um, <laughs> so as, as much as friends would. Yeah. It's that's like such a classic docket story. Yeah. It's... Yeah. I was docketed <laughs> on my skull. Uh, when did you start doing commentary in melee? Uh, I would just go to the weeklies every week cause I wanted mm -hmm. to get better. And, um, I would get out early. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like at, at locals, the people who commentate are the people who don't make top eight. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's how it goes. So, you know, nobody really goes just to commentate. It's kind of weird or felt kind of weird. Yeah. So I'd go, I'd go my two and two, you know, I'd, I'd beat my cripple cow and I would lose to, I would lose to my Duke Vitro. And then I'd hop on the mic, uh, usually with Mikey. Cause he was another two and two, three and two or, mm -hmm. um, and then just commentate that. And I did that for like six to six months to a year with Mikey, you know, mm -hmm. just pretty much every week, just going, commentating it for like, the 20 boys who are watching the stream <laughs> um the stream yeah. monsters when until is... run back mm -hmm. and then and then run back i got because i was doing it all the time in az i got the bigger gig mm -hmm. and that had like a thousand viewers which was like oh <laughs> when was it that you met slime was it in az run back run, run back, back. Yeah, yeah yeah it was uh so i commentated run back 2016 mm -hmm. and that went well and then I commentated run back 20. No, no, I think it was, maybe it was the same year. 
And then I commentated Runback 2017, I think. And that was mm -hmm. the bigger one. And Slime went to that tournament. And I beat his friend at the time. It was my friend now, V Money. Oh, I love V Money. I beat V Money <sighs> in a money match. And then Slime was like, you ain't going to beat my boy's ass like that. Money match me. <laughs> and then I seven stock Slime. I fucked on Slime. I mean, I four stocked him. I chain grabbed him with Puff. I down threw. He died in on down throw on Puff with like falco <laughs> this dude was brain dead and then uh the next week because i was on like a high because the commentary went really well mm -hmm. i commentated i went to commentate bigger balk mm -hmm. and they put me on a block with slime and i was like before i was like oh this dude has no fucking clue what he's talking about he's dog shit at the game i don't even think he knows how many characters are in it and then uh and then he turned out to be funny and then i was like all right cool 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 and not as bad as I thought. I, my impression of him originally was like, it was his first month at the rodeo. <laughs> was Slime already doing like bad melee at that time, or? I think yeah. I think he had a podcast. I think he mentioned it. He's like, yeah, I got a podcast. And then he invited me to do it after Bigger Balk. He was like, you should come on my podcast. And then I went on his podcast, and that first podcast went well. Mm -hmm. So we hung out a few more times, and then and then I hung out at like the the poop house. Or the P house, I should say, in California. Mm -hmm. That's like where Nick lived. Don B was there. Dawson would go over, and Slime was there, and that's how I met all them. Mm -hmm. Were you living in LA at that time, or you're just like coming from AZ? It was my graduating year, uh -huh. so it was one of his bigger bout. I'll look it up right now. I think bigger bout month wise was May. So I had just graduated, and I moved to California. Two months after that, like yeah. August, August 1st, I got a rental car and just drove. That was 2017, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's like the Two same degrees. years. Same years, Pat's house and everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, you blew up real quick then, because I remember you were on like the Genesis mic that following year, right? I didn't get Genesis. I think I only got Genesis once. Maybe Cause... twice, actually, yeah. Because I know... I think I got Genesis 2018. Yeah, yeah 2018. Yeah, because that's the year that we put like the cheat and slime and everyone or you and you and slime were really popping off one year because that's when you guys started our, getting our like the 2018 that's the year you guys started getting like the deep like uh what's it called again like you're getting like top 64 and whatnot which is like a pretty i i will say ashcon it was rare yeah. all right you are are you're one of the people who set up commentary yeah players, right yeah hey, I, what's I, the I, fucking deal man what can we talk about it now yeah let's Man's talk about it it's hard a thing your boy never got a top 64 spot. Did you like, not get ever? a top 64 one? Rarely. I know. I would be delegated to pools with slime. I know. Did slime get it? Not you or? Occasionally sure. slime would bank it and not me. Occasionally I would go to a tournament and I'd get a better spot, but it'd be like a, like a, like a, like a e EGLX. Dude, like you're, that one. you're fighting against like, there's just like problem with melee commentary is like, the people who everyone like, it's like this small pool, right? So people are really resistant to like letting new people in. Like, yeah. I had to like push for like some non-traditional pairs to happen. But with you and Slime, I think like when Slime like started blowing up with like Slime on the scene, right? Mm -hmm. Like no BM when it was like Slime and Slime's friend almost. But it was just like people yeah. liked you guys as a pair. Yeah, I don't mean that yeah, it's yeah, any yeah, BM. Yeah. No, but that, no, that was no. like I, literally. Sure, sure, sure. I get it. <laughs> I will say it did feel like I, I remember <laughs> I, I, I'll, hey, I'll leak names. Melee's not a thing anymore, at least tournaments for a while. I, I felt like uh, I was getting passed over. So, like when I was hot, hot or felt like I was hot, hot, I was uh, I felt like Fendi was getting like not that he should have been doing it, but he was doing like top 64 and top 16 and mm -hmm. your boy was only pools. I remember <laughs> Flambo was getting it over me. I was like, Flambo's getting it over me nowadays. And then uh, who else? Jack Zilla was consistently getting it. It's more like they would consistently get it. Yeah. And mine was always a coin flip. Yeah. Even late into it, you know, even when I had like maybe a bit of a budding stream. Yeah. It was still like, you know, like the big house 2018. Or yeah, yeah, 2018. Mm -hmm. Something like that. It would still be like, you know, we got pools for you. <laughs> I was never too mad about it. I mean, pools are fun. Yeah. Um it's just hard because there's just, so many people yeah. who are doing it and it's just like because like I used, I, I used to like do the pairings and then sometimes I would just like dick around with them when they were really fun. Like yeah, one yeah. time I put slime with Scar and they had never met each other. That like, was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, I know. It worked out, but I was just like, this is either going to hit or that tank was, in the funniest. That was, right? that was Genesis. 
Genesis. I was just like, I think it, no, that's I did the tof block that one. That was we had a good tof block too. Yeah. I was just yeah, was like good. put people together, and it's like either this hits or it tanks in like the funniest way possible. It's just like two people who just don't <laughs> <laughs> don't vibe. Yeah, I think there's a. <laughs> I think there's not enough risk taking. I mm-hmm. don't know, because I I know there aren't that many slots. Yeah, but it does feel like you know. You give four slots to Bobby Scar when in reality Bobby Scar probably just wants to do his like one or two blocks, one to warm up, and then his top eight, and then wants to sit in his room and play dom or eat dominoes, <laughs> you know, watch anime. And so you could probably take a risk. I'm talking nowadays, so it doesn't matter for me, but on like another commentator for like you know a losers top mm-hmm. sixty four or something like that. Uh, and I think there could be more risk takes there, but it feels like everyone tries to go for the safe like you know homemade wobbles or. Yeah uh you know the shits like that um that are like that are always a thing Uh that are never you know they're never you always know what you're gonna get you know not to say they're bad i'm just saying you know you could take a risk on a couple blocks Mm -hmm. on someone new instead of throwing like you know we'll throw in vro and (laughs) you know chroma and uh, actually, that's probably a risk too. But I like, love I, Jake. I, I haven't seen that a lot. I, I, I love. I bias Jake so hard into commentary. I he did get a risk taken on him. He did get a chance taken on him, and I think it was like really worth it. Every time but, you saw like some wild Jake getting some like nutty block, that was like purely me biasing him in because it's just it was, like. Were you shine? He was shine, right? The first year of shine, I helped them. Shine, For, he got top eight. I'm pretty sure. Right? No, that was Webs and Vish. Or maybe he was, he did one shine, I think. Yeah. I know. Cause maybe a top half. I basically just biased him in though. Cause I was San Diego too. And I was just like, that's pretty yeah. much how melee commentary was is like whoever made the schedule kind of helped their boys. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was never boys with the schedule makers. <laughs> I was only boys with my boys and my boys and I would be sitting in pools, but I, it wasn't I, honestly that big of a deal. I know um, my respect for you grew when you drove all those weeds down for me for Pat's house three. That was oh, like yeah, our yeah, first yeah, yeah. interaction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I think that's how Bailey <laughs> is, right? You know? Yeah. So you got to, you got, sometimes you got to drive weeds across <laughs> the state border. The story uh, is for Pat's house three. So I was the TO and Ludwig drove the Red Bull weeds down from Santa Monica to San Diego. Just so it was yeah. your car just full with like boxes. It was full to the brim. Yeah. It was, it was my, it was my Volkswagen Jetta and Cherry gave me all the weeds and a case of Red Bull. And I drove them down and that was, that was it. I just, I was fueled up on Red Bull, zero bucks, but a lot of energy. All right. I was flying. 64 setups. Uh, Thank you, Wood. Yeah. <laughs> Hell of a lot of setups. And then uh, you, you bring, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. But you know, there's little things like that. Like, you know, occasionally you'll have to drive like, uh, like I drove homemade waffles to a few tournaments. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then in return, he pays me back by carrying me through doubles and we won a doubles tournament. <laughs> You know, so uh, it's just kind of how Melee is, which is cool. What do you plan on doing with Melee now? Like, do you think, because I know you talk about, like, how you always want to still be involved with Melee, but just in, like, yeah. a different way. So what's the way you would kind of see it now? I think I just got, I got some fun and money that I can throw. Uh, I'm just cautious that it's, like, you know, I want Melee to be the imp- Important thing, I think uh, LACS two mm-hmm. is coming soon, um, but it's been delayed because I am trying to get like a big sponsor for it. You know, like mm-hmm. like I'm trying to get some funny money involved because I think uh, it's like the one thing we don't have. Mm-hmm. You know, it's what you get from streaming and it's what you don't get from melee is funny money. I think you know I can I can connect it. Like I think sponsors are willing to work with me. Mm-hmm. And not with Melee. So if I can get sponsors to work with me <laughs> doing Melee, then that's like the dream. You know what I mean? Like if mm-hmm. I can get 20K for a sponsor for an LACS, That'd then be it's sick. like I can pay everyone to commentate. I can pay everyone who plays. Like, And, I, you know, it's online right now. So I'm, I'm wary about, like, big payouts for top players, you know, mm-hmm. at the top. So I think just spread the money thinner. You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. think, and I think it's fine because it's like you don't want 4K yeah. for one match in that play you just don't it's just a bad idea yeah so i think uh i think that's what my goal is it's just slow i think it works too because like you know everyone and like 
it's like almost a different kind of show. Oh my god, it was Raffle. Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> I said it was Cherry. I said it was Cherry because I've been talking to Cherry recently uh, for Red Bull. Oh my god, I do apologize. Shout yeah, out, oh shout out to Raffle. I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that works though. Like, because the cool thing is, like, you know, it's like you're very close with all the melee players too, right? So you have like your own rapport with them. So it's like almost like yeah. a more like <clears throat> homey of a show as opposed to like some serious tournament, like more of like a chill summit yeah. than like a super major, if that makes sense. Yeah, I got the <laughs> I got a cat in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shout out to you, Raffle. You're a legend. How often do you pee? Me? Yeah. Uh, like once every other hour. I drink a lot of water. I have like this. I drink every I pee every ninety minutes, and every time I pee, chat they're they're making me feel weird about it. <laughs> but I feel like it's a normal amount to pee. I feel good about it every two hours. That makes me feel good. <laughs> the empty chair remote. <laughs> but um, I guess at what point did you start streaming in this whole melee timeline, or just in uh, your life? I streamed a few times in 2017, like end of it, mm -hmm. like in December. And then I stopped because I needed a job. And then I got fired from my job. So I streamed some more because I couldn't find another job. Was this the vape job or this? No, this is Snapchat? before that. This was Snapchat. Yeah. So I got fired from Snapchat and I couldn't get a job quick. And so mm -hmm. I streamed and then after like a, like a few weeks of doing that, I was like, I'm just going to commit to doing it part-time. Mm -hmm. And then I had the choice of two jobs. It was the vape job or it was this company. In, I don't even know if there's still a thing. Uh, there's this company called CMG. I think there's still a thing. Checkmate gaming. Yeah. There's still a thing as their head of, uh, of social media mm -hmm. and that, it was, they were on Rodeo drive. So I felt pretty badass. <laughs> uh, but the, the perks of the vaping job was that I would live with Nick and slime. Uh, and so then I asked slime about it. I was like, cause I was debating. I was like the, cause I didn't even have the vaping job yet. I was yeah. just going to live with them and try to find a job. I was like, do I take this job or do I, you know, move it in with you guys? And he was like, do you want to be in front of the camera or behind it? And I was like, and then I went with them. Mm -hmm. was sick decision though, because I think like yeah, slime it worked out. Just, they're just dope. Like they're so cool. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> great people. It definitely helped the stream for sure. Like I, the part of it too was like you know I would have been working in Rodeo, living in the valley, so I'd be driving probably two hours a day minimum, mm -hmm. and I would have had to do a job that's like a nine to five with a lunch. So it's was i think it was eight to five then right mm -hmm. still nine to five? no it's eight it's to five enough. uh so i'd you know i'd be having to wake up at like seven yeah and i'd be having to get home at like six eating shit you know I, the the streams wouldn't have been what they were mm -hmm. with the vape job like the vape job i was able to go home every day and stream four hours mm -hmm. um because i was also salaried too I got to say, God bless that company. They are under, they no longer exist, <laughs> but I definitely did a lot, a lot of shit <laughs> on company hours. <laughs> I would be looking at Twitch. I'd be thinking of ideas. I'd come in at 10 AM even because I was salaried. It didn't yeah. fucking matter. I, mean, I did my work. Those are, those employee. are the best jobs. You do just enough. And then you spend the rest of your time pursuing your passion. Basically being salaried is so sick. Yeah. God, what a dream. To just not have hours that you have to be there and wasting away. Yeah, like I'm technically working right now, but don't tell my manager. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm down, I'm down. Mom's <laughs> word. Don't narc Twitch chat. <sighs> <laughs> That's dope though. What are like your favorite early streams? Like my earliest memories are like the Brown Star days. Mm. And your love for Carl's as old Judy. As it gets. Yeah. Uh the favorite old streams, I like speedrunning Mario Party 2. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was fun. Um, 
I think early Ludlocks were also cool because it wasn't like it was different than it is now because I would my whole chat would be banned. You know what I mean? Like I'd ban a hundred people and I'd have a hundred viewers. Yeah. So it's like I'd be working. I wasn't working with a lot. You know, <laughs> and it wasn't even subs back then. I just banned straight up viewers because I didn't have that many subs. So I. Yeah, you, you know, would just ask risk... people to what who should yeah. like who want to get named a Pokemon. Yeah, I would yeah. just ask, and they would put in the names, and I'd pick one. So the risk was like higher. The risk was like my chat would be quiet. Like my viewers would be up, and I would have like five people a day because <laughs> 120 people are banned. So then the unbans are even more hype. Where nowadays, I mean, like the Ludlocks are sad because like a 0.01% of viewers will ever get named in the first place, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you miss having that like close relationship with your chat? Because it's like chat as a collective now where before chat used to be like individuals. Uh, no, not really. I mean, I, I, I feel like I always kind of tr tried to treat chat as a collective. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I took a lot from like, um, uh, actually like Greek God X. Cause he's very good at treating his chat like a collective and, you know, kind of getting him to do his emotes and whatever. And I kind of did the same. Um, what I miss was, I guess, being able to read, like I would notice who's funny. Right. And mm -hmm. then they would be posting in chat. And then when they posted in chat, I'd want to see what they wrote because I it'd be funny. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And nowadays, I, I like I, sometimes I won't catch it. Uh huh. You know, I won't I won't get to see the messages from my big Gucci D's or my uh, or my John Madden's or my Haywires because uh, chat's too fast. Mm -hmm. So then I, you know I feel I, that that sucks because then I'll have to read some other message that might be lame. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I mean, like. I, it's like impossible to read something sometimes, right? Because you just chat just pure spam. <laughs> it's yeah, impressive yeah, that like you can I, even like read some messages, I guess. Without I'm always, I think I always understand how chat kind of feels, uh -huh. but like as individuals, I don't. You know what I mean? Like as a collective, <laughs> if they're like, as a collective, if they're like, you know, they're having a good time or a bad time, I can kind of tell, mm -hmm. but I can't tell individually, like, you know, whatever jokes they're making. Mm -hmm. But the advantage is I can make up messages now. Oh, like just someone said something and then you just. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, it's great for setups. I can now do that consistently. Yeah. Whereas before, if I read it and there's, you know, 50 messages in 10 minutes, they're going to be like, no, hey, no one said that, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I can say whatever and they'll just believe somebody said it. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. That's so smart. Making yeah, content. I got it from Kevin Martin. Kevin Martin's like a poker streamer, uh -huh. and he he has a five minute delay because he's playing poker online. Yeah, and he doesn't want people sniping him, so he would he would just read out messages and be like, "Yo, Kevin, how'd you get your start?" Or like, "Yo, Kevin, how's the weight journey going?" <laughs> like like <laughs> prompting messages like that. He'd be like, "Hey, yeah, yeah," and and he was just honest about it too. He was like, "You guys ever notice how I just make up messages?" But no one did because the messages were from five minutes ago, so yeah. no one was ever like, no one ever looked. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I feel like, is it weird sometimes how like you have this like kind of like one real relationship with chat, but sometimes like the viewers don't understand that and then they like feel like you're homies or something. I don't know like the right way to phrase this is. Yeah, no, as you were saying, like, yeah. uh, I, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty like honest about it and I think I like reinforce it a lot. Mm -hmm. So I don't like take advantage of it. I'm sure people feel that way. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think I'm like pretty clear, you know, I think I drive the point home that, you know, I'm, I am an entertainer, you know, when we ain't fucking homies, you got to hit up your boys about shit. Mm -hmm. um, so I think more than most streamers, I think this guy's toast and slime also kind of pushed me to do that is, uh, you know, just kind of be real about what streaming is Yeah. rather than try to like pretend it's something it's not, you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like, have you seen slime sub notification? It's like, this no, is not a sign one. that we're friends. It's no, like this I haven't <laughs> seen that one. <laughs> yeah, it's just like. The some... man streams <laughs> pinball at 2 a.m. nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Harder to catch a slime stream. Yeah, it's just like subscribing is not a form of friendship or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's very wary about it. But I think he's he's wary about it too much. Because like, I, I grew up with YouTube. Uh -huh. And. And it's like, you know, someone like Woody's gamer tag, like I yeah. felt close to, you know, but like I wasn't so disillusioned that I was like, you know, 
this is my dad now. <laughs> but, you know, I still felt like a connection. And I don't think it was unhealthy. Like, I think it was more helpful, mm -hmm. uh, informative. And so I think for most people, it's kind of like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I still try to be wary. You know, I don't like saying shit like, I love you. I think that's weird. Um, people say it to me, you know, I always hit them with a much love, mm -hmm. uh, which is different. Um, cause I don't want people, you know, people got to have their own friends and relationships in their life yeah. that aren't me. Is it, is it weird how like kind of your fan base is like bleeding into the lives of your roommates in some ways? Or... I feel bad. I don't want people to feel like they're in the Ludwig universe. And I've dealt with it in a mm -hmm. minor way. Like, I was Slime's friend. Uh, I was the Dombey waiting room <laughs> at one point. So I know. And I, I, I don't mind, but I don't, you know. Yeah. These people, like, have achievements, goals, accomplishments they've done that are, like, far beyond my stream. Mm -hmm. um, that are sometimes not available to the public eye. So it's like... You know, I feel a little bit bad, but, you know, I think for the most part, people are pretty nice mm -hmm. to, like, my roommate. And, um, and they, like, they, like, you know what I mean? Like, so they're, like, all in the Melee community, which is so separate, too. So it's, like, they are still, like, you know, maybe to my viewers, they might just be my roommates. But, like, in a different community, they're, like, you know. Yeah. They're all person. Yeah. Totally. I can totally agree with that. I imagine for them it just be wild getting like nine million Amazon boxes a month or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> that's more like me being an annoying roommate. That like you know, but I got to call the dumpster and all that. Um, yeah, I don't think. Uh, I think the growth has happened so quickly. One and two, I don't think I've changed too much. That it's yeah. like no one's really no one. It's not weird. No one's ever like. I feel like you're good to I'm, the boys too. Like something that I hear a lot in the melee community is everyone just says how you're good to the boys. Like I've heard you have this dream of getting a house and having all the boys live in it. I don't know. If that's oh true. yeah. 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 yeah it's, they all said it was dumb though. <laughs> I was like, let's get a house. And they're like, that's dumb. You should invest into an index fund. <laughs> and I'm like, weird. That sounds dumb. Can you, can you speak about the dream that people called dumb? Or... Uh, yeah, I just, well, I just like living with more boys. Like I just like, uh, like Nieper originally wasn't living with us for permanent, mm -hmm. like permanently. He was just like chilling for a bit and he was supposed to move out. And then I was like, I like having Nieper here. Cause originally he was just at school. He didn't have a job. So I'd hang out with him all day cause they'd all go to work. <laughs> and I was like, I want my, my little, my little boy to hang out with. Uh, and so, yeah, I just like, uh, I just like more people. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think part of it too is because I'm a streamer and it's different now because COVID, but yeah. when I streamed in my uh, studio, it was very lonely mm -hmm. because after stream, it would be like me and I would go to Trader Joe's and that was like my human interaction. <laughs> but now it's like I have all my boys. So it's like, you know, I have mm -hmm. human interaction on a daily basis. And uh, it just feels better. I guess, like, I know, like, a big problem a lot of streamers face is, like, a burnout in the sense, like, you kind of have to stream, like, at night, right? So, like, that's normally when people would go, like, socialize, but... It's better to stream in the day. I'm just lazy. Really? There's more people on Twitch. Mm -hmm. So, just, like, the peak hour of Twitch is noon. Mm -hmm. So, the best hours that. to stream is actually 9 a.m. to noon. Because you'll hit every time zone. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the most important thing is probably just being consistent on when you stream. So people kind of know, but I just do late night. Cause it's just like what I did when I had a job mm -hmm. and now I don't have a job. I still kind of do it. Cause it's just kind of like how my schedules work. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. When was the point that you realized you could do streaming as like a full-time thing? Like when did that idea first pop in? I hit like a th thousand subs my first year and like i hit it once in september but that's when they had like that september thing but then i hit it again in december you hit 2k and, uh, real quick i remember yeah. like there's like messages where i was like dude i, I messaged you i was like holy shit congrats on 1k and then you hit 2k and like <laughs> two weeks later i was like what the fuck but it was a september bump and so i thought it was like you know it's september you match all i was matching all gifted subs mm -hmm. um 
because then like resubs were a dollar so i like it was just worth it is like profitable but then it happened again and so i was like well now that it happened again you know i think this could work because i was like you know i was making like like 40 i'd be making like 40 50k before taxes mm -hmm. and so i was waiting because i had another job to have 10k in savings and then i was like if i have 10k in savings then i can live even if i only have like 500 subs for like a year mm -hmm. but then i got fired before i hit 10k and so i was like yeah i'll just you know Fuck <laughs> i'll it. just run it 8k close enough what did like the people in your life think like your family and whatnot when you're like i'm just gonna stream on twitch full time i didn't really key him in on the decision that much mm -hmm. it was um because like i'd been in and out of jobs you know what i mean so mm -hmm. it's like the the question wasn't like what are you doing for work it's more like are you are you good financially uh -huh. like, yeah i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good and my mom still has access to my bank account so like she sees and uh she was like all right yeah yeah you're chilling <laughs> um and so she was she was chill with it because of that mm -hmm. and now you're you're big living big time and now i'm chilling chilling yeah now yeah. she now she don't gotta worry that's cool what was the point do you think that like really helped your twitch stream blow up like even past like the 1k to 2k like because i feel that's kind of like a barrier people struggle to break is like it was it was like two events it was scarver's fendi mm -hmm. that was the first one that got me to like 100 three digit territory and then it was my YouTube, specifically the uh, Twitch Jeopardy with the S&P boys. Mm -hmm. After that, I was like hitting a thousand consistently. And then since then, it's like, you know, once you're once you're above water, it's easier. Yeah. Because you know? then it's just like, you know, a couple of videos pop off while while pop off. And like every day there will be a handful of people who are like, hey, Ludwig, first stream. And I'm like. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> so it's uh, those were the two probably biggest jumps mm -hmm. um, out of the blue. God, I'm just realizing like how much shit you did before you became a streamer, because like you were like unfilled your toaf, you edited for yeah. the reads, you did commentary. Yeah, there was a lot in melee. melee. Stuff. Yeah, that all kind of lent itself to doing Scarver's Fendi. Mm -hmm. Like there was a lot of back work there. You know what I mean? Like I couldn't have done that if I hadn't been on Filter Tough, which got me the Reeds gig, which l led me to do Scarver's yeah. Fendi. And then like, even like some things you can see now with like the, like the Peko Month stuff. Where mm -hmm. like, I'm sure like that helped you with like- Peko Month was fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I had a lot of experience with uh, merch. more than I think most YouTubers had with merch. Uh, and now I feel a lot more confident with merch. Um, your last run sold out, right? Like you had yeah, like sold out 30 minutes for the mint and two hours, three hours for the bone. How do you feel? Let's imagine that's absolutely wild. It was hype. I was just sitting at my computer watching it. Like it was like stock opening day or some shit. <laughs> like a, it was just the number going up. And then the guy Otto, who like helped me a lot throughout it, like built the website uh -huh. also has access. And he was like updating me. He was like, he was like, this many sold, this many sold, this many sold. And I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so it was cool. It was cool. And just kind of made me want to do it, uh, you know, even mm -hmm. better next time, you know? Mm -hmm. And there's like a, I forgot who was talking about, but it's like, it's like a triangle, right? Which is like the YouTube drives people to like Twitch, Twitch drives mm -hmm. people to the merch, right? It's like this. Like... Yeah. I think I've been pitching a lot to sponsors recently. And the number one thing that I try to like push is that like, sure, YouTube has more impressions, but I think it's way easier to like activate through Twitch. Mm -hmm. It basically get people to do shit, mm -hmm. you know, like get people to buy a sweatshirt or, you know, uh, download Bumble. Like that's, <laughs> it's easier to do on Twitch rather than YouTube, uh, where people just kind of want to stay on the site and keep watching YouTube forever. Mm-hmm. Where do you see your stream going or just like your future in general? Cause like you're still pretty young, right? Like 24. Still yeah. Yeah. Time when I started streaming, I said I'd do it for five years and I'm two years in. 
Um, cause I don't want to like streaming is like, it's, you know, it trends up, but it obviously has dips. Mm -hmm. Like my January this year was, was much lower. My February wasn't very good. Now we're on a spike cause of COVID, uh, when COVID is not, you know, locked down as it is now, it'll dip. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Like there cannot be as many people watching Twitch. So like some of my viewers have to also have jobs. Um, and hopefully I can get through that dip and go up again. But, you know, I think there will be a point where I feel like I'm at the peak and then I'll probably end it there, you know, go out on top more. Yeah. Go out doing everything I did and kind of on top rather than like slowly fizzling away. Uh huh. You know, I don't want to just like be 30. You know, you can't have comebacks, but like, you know, I don't want to be like a syndicate, like a lifelong YouTuber. Yeah. Streamer. I've, I've seen like, it a lot. It's like sad when you see someone who used to have like 10,000 viewers have like, it is, 500. it is. And it sucks that it is sad, but like, yeah, like, cause they're just doing what they like, which I understand, mm -hmm. but I don't want to be, you know, looked at like, uh, like the main actor from honey. I shrunk the kids. <laughs> like I, I, I don't no want to be that guy. I feel like, um, hmm. where do you, where do you see yourself going after streaming though? Or is that just something you haven't thought about? Uh, something more, um, not long lasting, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, uh, like, uh, like a form of media that is more permanent than a stream. Cause like every stream I do, no matter how sick it is, doesn't matter the next day when mm -hmm. I have to do it all over again. YouTube videos are a little more permanent, but even then, like you were talking about a handful of videos from five, six years ago that are relevant. Yeah. Uh, but then you have like forms like, you know, TV, movie books. That's like people will talk about for a lot longer and are more important for longer. Like you can mm -hmm. rest on your laurels. If you make parasite, you can chill on that for a while. Yeah. You know, you could just make parasite and die and be like, still made parasite, but it thought uh, you cannot make, doesn't matter how many YouTube videos you make. It's never like he did that. You laugh, you lose. And that was funny. <laughs> like it'll never. Yeah. So like more of like, a, like a Donald Glover, right. Where he's just like transcended different mediums almost. And like, maybe yeah. Or even like, someone like Joji who's mm -hmm. like, uh, like Don't he did frank. music and, uh, and I think that'll last, you know, a lot longer be mm -hmm. something that you can, do less frequently right like you can work on this project and doesn't have to do a project more than like once every couple of years and mm -hmm. just kind of be happy with what he made rather than like the daily yeah of live <laughs> and youtube yeah i imagine it'll be nice too to have a part of your life back in a different way because yeah and right be... now i'm fine with it i like it i'm happy with it i'm yeah. just i know it, you know like you know i can't do that forever yeah um yeah, but that's that's about really it for the things I wanted to talk about today. All right, bud. Feel bad I didn't ask you questions. How's your day? It's good. I'm just chilling, <laughs> yeah. dude. You're I mean, just vibing? Yeah. How's I'm, your COVID? Huh? How's your COVID? Uh, I just live in the burbs now. I used to live in SF, and I just I pieced out because there's no point to live in a big city when you can just stay inside all day, so I moved back to my family house. Smart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're saving hella bread on that, yeah. I imagine. I miss Melee. I miss hanging out with the yeah. boys. I miss good Melee that gets me torqued. <laughs> I'm happy we went out on Genesis. Yeah. Because that was a banger to go out on. Shout out to that Zane. Mogul yeah. Move Zane. Now Golden Mogul Move Zane is what we went out on. And that was a fire tournament. <laughs> but I hope it does come back how it was. Because online tournaments are not the same. People like are saying we went on a summit. <laughs> summit yeah. was sick too, though. Well, it, summit was sick. Summit was sick. I, I, th I'm thinking like I don't. Know, I think of my big, my big two. I mean, my we Genesis. had like big house Genesis summit, like pretty solid set of tournaments to go out on. Yeah, kind of yeah. sucks. Is melee was like really alive. Like the yeah, there were like it was like a, every weekend Zane was fucking somewhere, hunger box or somewhere. I felt like, <laughs> but uh, you know, it'll come back. Do you mind if we leave some time for questions with chat? Yeah, sure. No Anyone in chat? 
have any questions? Oh. Hey Ludwig, how has honesty helped manage the stress that comes with a hyper public persona? I mean, it's like you know, living a lie is hard. I, you know, I, I feel like it's, it's just easier. It's just easier to like just be upfront about everything, and then people know you better. You know, like I was watching slightly relevant, the Taylor Swift Americana Girl or something like that, Americana Dream, mm -hmm. whatever it's called. And she was talking about how like she's all like trying to be nice girl and like be quiet about issues and like political things. Mm -hmm. But then like because she was quiet, people were like uh, calling her fake. And so I think, you know, if you're honest, people won't like you, but you won't be fake mm -hmm. or called fake. Not that she is fake, but you won't be called it. That's fair. It's like we get to the punch quicker. You either like me or you don't like me and you figure it out sooner. That's fair. Um, I can totally see that. Miss uh, Americana. Yeah. How do you get your content ideas? Uh, I just think about them. I bounce them off. Sometimes Cutie has good ones. Uh, I do games with like HR and stands a lot. So, you know, I could talk to them or I'll look at what other people are doing and mm -hmm. I'll, I'll try to put my own twist on it. Like the Q and a ones that I do, it's soda popping. He did like an honest Q and a, mm -hmm. and I did that, but I was like, how about every time I don't want to answer, I got a watermelon. <laughs> and I was like, that was it. Did you stay in your room from that stream? Did I what? Did you stay no. in your room? It cleaned up. Maybe the carpet a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Do yeah, you're... Funny. What happened to like your old homes? Like when you like move out of them, like, or is this the one that, you... is this the only house you shot the paintball in? Uh, this is it. No, they cleaned it up. I got yeah. house cleaners and they, they, they came right out. I was shocked because <laughs> my wall was orange. <laughs> they were like, it just came out. I was like, what? I'm surprised you haven't had like a landlord just freak out at what's happened inside. If they ever uh, I haven't gotten my deposit back for my studio. And the last one, I think they took a chunk out, but it's not, I honestly don't, I think like normal life is worse. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the thing look bad, but it's like, you know, wall mounting a TV is going to fuck you harder. Mm -hmm. than, uh, <laughs> than a paintball. It's totally fair. Um, when you first started streaming, did you like try to, emulate anyone or did you kind of want to focus on your own brand and whatnot uh i i know i didn't want to do what all the melee streamers were doing i didn't want to play melee at all mm -hmm. but i think if anyone i took from the most it'd be like cd in the third in terms of like energy like just uh -huh. raw energy levels throughout the whole stream was probably just him even though like we played completely like he played fortnite like we weren't at all you know what i mean yeah we're not, we're not the same human or the same game player, but like that energy, I think you know, is a lot different than most streamers. Jake Chroma asks, not to count your money, but you're stacking right now. Are you saving, investing, just treating it as cash flow for the next thing? It's all been really recent. Like I didn't, I have 21K subs, but I had 2K in November, you know, mm -hmm. which was six months ago, seven months ago, something like that. So it's like very recent, but uh, I made a big investment with a merch shop that just dropped and it was like over a hundred thousand dollars. So I wasn't like that chilling. And now, uh, now I'm just, I, I got bread that I'm sitting on, but I don't, right now I'm just sitting. Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting cause I don't know what to do because of COVID because of like, you know, concerns with market because I don't know if I want to like buy a house off rip. So I'm just kind of chilling. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to, you know, yeah, just chilling. Yeah. I have like, so I'm like, I have, I have, I'll say I have 13,000 in my Robin hood account and, Hell yeah. and we are up. I'll tell you, we are up since I made it. It's about eight months old. <laughs> Markets are good right now. Surprisingly. We are up 20% well, let's go on look. my investments in Robin hood. <laughs> I bought NVIDIA at 150. I'm buffeted out of my mind. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Zayn winning the online tournament with Roy? I didn't watch it. I not invested enough. <laughs> Every time Melee was on before, it's like I took my Sunday off. Like I'd be watching that. Online doesn't get me as torqued. Like I tried watching Pound and I was I was like I was soft. I wasn't chubbing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's I think Zayn's the best Melee player in the world right now. Probably. I love Zayn. 
Such he's probably point. the one that's grinding the most, and he's the best because of it. You know, Mango's doing Valorant. Hungry Box is like in a commercial. Apparently, I haven't seen it, but I just every time I see a clip of H Box, he's doing the loudest H Box pop off I've ever seen. <laughs> to like he's some ultimate clip. I mean, he's yeah. doing smart shit. You know, I think Zane's probably the best male player in the world. Someone asked, "Has mental el- mental health ever been an issue for you?" And I think a good follow up question too is. Do any of the memes on your channel ever hurt? Like any of the teasing ever get to you? Uh, first question, no. I'm pretty well adjusted. Slime says I'm too well adjusted and thinks I'm a psychopath for it. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I've just been, you know, you're sad sometimes, you're happy sometimes, but it's never, I would never attribute anything to like mental health for me personally. Mm-hmm. Um, and no, as far as like the teasing I stream, no. It's like, I'm very... Uh, I'm very disassociated with it, like, in the sense that, you know, it's most of them are people just trying to make a joke. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I, the same way that I don't treat my viewers, I treat them like a collective. It's like the individual punch doesn't really hurt because it's like, you know, as a whole, I can know how people feel. And it's, I think people are uh, not, like, mean. Mm -hmm. People aren't that mean. It's the jokes are all like it's pretty typical now to like sniper get down or short joke. Yeah, right? it's like they're not nothing's that bad, you know. And it's <laughs> like and like the the meanest that people get. So like you know you got your fucking dad died and it's like yeah man that's all right. Like I, I at the end of the day I always think to myself it's it's just not that deep, you know mm-hmm. what they're doing like what they're saying. It's like I, there's too many messages. Like I looked at it the other day. There's there's a million messages a month just about. <laughs> I'm not going to remember any of them. I, I'm reading like hundreds and yeah. thousands of a month. I can't remember. <laughs> What's your uh, like I, hours watched a month? Like I assume it's some dummy high number. I have not looked in a while. All right. In the last 30 days, I think it does it by viewer minutes on this site. Mm-hmm. It's 63 million viewer minutes. I don't know what that. You divide it by 60, right? So we're working with like what? 10, That's, 10 million hours. Is that right? Or million hours? 10, 60, a million hours. Well, 63 million divided by 60 divided by 24. So that's um, days divided by 30 days. That's I'm not crazy. one and a half thousand months. Unless my math is wrong. Yeah, that means nothing to me, right? Does that mean <laughs> anything to you? What is one and a half thousand months? Is that Do I live that much in a, in a lifetime? How many months do I get in a life? <laughs> Not one and a half, sorry, 15,000 months. No, no, sorry, one and a half thousand, one and a half thousand. I looked at the test. I don't know how many months I get. How many months do we get? Do you know how many months we get? We get, what if we get 70 years? How many months is that? If you live to 100, you get 120, you get 100, not 120 months. So you get 1,200 months. So it's like, we get about a thousand months. Yeah. We're doing good. All right. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Someone doesn't mean (laughs) it. Someone asked, originally you said you didn't want to get signed by an esports team because you wouldn't want to have to spend time promoting the team when you could advertise yourself. Has your mm-hmm. opinion changed on this? And would you be interested in making, or would you be interested in making your own team in the future? Maybe. I don't know. I think esports teams are like a good way to dump all your money and have it disappear. Uh, no, I think esports teams, I think the way it works is you build up, get into an esports teams so they can financially support you so you can make better content and go full time and then grow big enough that you don't have an esports team and just have an agency who just gets you deals because deals is where the money's at Mm -hmm. and esports team shouldn't function as your agency uh you should have your own agent that just does that exclusively um and unless the esports team is so clouded that they're able to grow your stream which only two are to be honest like phase uh, i'm guessing and like one other phase and hundred thieves i think are the only ones then it's just not worth your time. Mm-hmm. It's totally valid. Um, how has Twitch affected the dynamics with your family? Are they supportive or has there been negative consequences? I know your mom had like a funny story because like her students are your viewers. Or... Yeah, it's it's it doesn't change it at all. I mean, my mom my mom keeps me humble. She like doesn't understand it all. So she'll like, you know, like I told her my U2s were coming. They're sold out. She's like, oh, you gonna have a big head now, <laughs> like the YouTube. I'm like a good one, mom. And my sister, I don't. She like she kind of watches, but it's like you know, she, I think she thinks it's kind of cool. But like we, I even saw her the other month. We did like a one of those 
COVID hangouts where you're <laughs> in a garden, the other person's on the other side. And she was like, uh, she was like, uh, we were talking about how the channel's doing well. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clint's still bigger than you though, right? Like, well, you know, I'm still She's like, no, no. <laughs> so I think, I think she still sees me as, you know, smaller, but I think, I think it's, uh, it hasn't affected it much. <laughs> I think it's really funny how your mom has students who watch you because that probably is like uh unless that's a fake story but i'm assuming that's real no it's real but it's it's just not i don't think it comes up enough you know what uh -huh. i mean like yeah like i don't think they're like you know insane hyper fans they're just kind of like you know like they've probably seen a while while or youtube yeah. video or two uh and they're like oh shit um but then my mom's like all right now say the verb of war with the conjugation for new <laughs> and then they're like okay sorry <laughs> i remember like i talked to a genesis and i was like i feel like the point when i was like damn blood made it is like my cousin who's not a melee player or really a gamer like watches your streams and is your sub and i was like this is fucking yeah. weird i was like that's sick though people are talking about making it and i feel like it's weird because i still have people on like my most recent youtube video who are like damn can't wait till Lud blows up. Lud's gonna blow up, and it's like, when have I blown up? When is mm -hmm. it enough? When have we hit the amount of what's the milestone to hit that it's like, oh yeah, he did it. I think it might be a million subs, but until then, everyone, uh, everyone's always trying to find the the line where I've made it big. <laughs> but I think, I mean, I think it's already kind of nuts. Yeah, I don't want to get greedy. <laughs> Someone asked, best Amazon product you've bought on stream. I used the mouse pad religiously for like eight months. But the car's bed probably got me the most mileage. <laughs> I mean, it's like a fixture in my room now. Mm -hmm. And everything else is kind of like, you know, it's around, but it's it's not like that prevalent. But that, that car's bed is, it's like a meme. It made me buy a $5,000 one. Um... And it, you know, we did the sleep stream and it's like a, it's like a thing. <laughs> what do you think the worst said? thing that's been botted? The thing that you just hated the most that came in. There was this, I mean, it's most of the flags, mm -hmm. like the Gibby flag or like the posters that are like 30 square feet or something plus I imagine. Yeah. That are just like giant atrocious and ugly that I don't want to hang up and I feel bad cause we bought it, but I just don't want my room to look like it did in the last house where it looks like, you know, like an eight year old decorated it. Mm -hmm. It was like, it was funny, but nowadays I don't want it anymore. So I try to, uh, I try to avoid it. Mm -hmm. Someone asks, you mentioned that you were thinking about going to other forms of media. Uh, what kind of branches of media do you see yourself moving to? I know like the OG story is like you saw yourself being a talk show host when you were younger, but I imagine yeah. it's much, much more different. I now. haven't put thought into it yet. I mean, I'll be honest. That's like a, like a late, late goal. But I like, you know, I always said five years of streaming on YouTube and I'm at, I'm at two. So it's mm -hmm. like three years a lot. I mean, we're not even halfway. I haven't even done a year of daily uploading yet on YouTube. That's a goal. Uh, so it's like, I guess we'll see. You know, mm -hmm. I'll see, we'll see where I end up after five years and then decide. Another person asks if you've considered hosting a late night show segment in your streams, like almost like a talk show. Uh, so the reason I stopped having a dream of being a talk show host is because mm -hmm. I realized that I didn't watch them. Yeah. And I was like, if I don't watch them because I don't like them, <laughs> why am I going to do it? So I think, I think there's room for it. I think there's a way to do it. I just don't know exactly how it would be run. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think talk shows nowadays, their growth and their fun part is always celebrities. And it's like, I guess I could do it virtually. It's kind of scuffed. Do mm -hmm. I really want to do that? So I, I don't know what it would be. Do you think Twitch as a medium can change? I'm sure you've seen like Jake and Bake, like his like uh, game changers that he does with Tempo Storm, where it's more of like a reality TV show vibe to the IRL streams. Mm. Yeah, it can. Mm -hmm. uh it's just like you put in that much effort and then xqc is still getting 10x your viewership you know 
watching a TV show on YouTube <laughs> or playing chess badly. So it's yeah. like the amount of work you're putting in might not be worth the payoff. Mm -hmm. It's like if you have a million dollars to run a Smash tournament, is the best thing to put it all into one and have a sick prize pool or something? Or is it like, you know, spread it out, mm -hmm. you know? Be a little yeah. smarter with with your with your with your cost. Do you ever see yourself becoming an IRL streamer, or no? Or just I'm uncomfortable like... IRL. I don't know how they do. It. I don't know how they talk to people. They talk to people in public while filming the person. I, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy to me. Uh, I'm kind of uncomfortable doing them, but I think it's just a skill that I have to get better at. I'd want to do something like that. Or maybe vlogging, mm -hmm. um, but I, I was gonna go to Japan and vlog it with my roommates. But it's just unfortunately not an option at the moment. Yeah, I was supposed to be in Japan right now, but COVID yeah. kind of hit hard. Everyone's supposed to be in Japan, and here we fucking are in the U.S. of A. <laughs> Shame. Okay, and I think the last section, someone is bringing up how even though you have a large number of subs, you don't have a large presence on LSF. Would you want to appear more or not, even if it's a positive light? Uh, I don't think it matters much anymore. I think it was like, I think it's been a good growth mechanism for a lot of streamers. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, it's blown up some people like Anita or Ms. Kiff. But I think uh, my streams already like YouTube has been the driver and I think mm -hmm. will continue to be that. And so, you know, Maybe it'll drive people, but I don't think it's like it'll be bigger than YouTube. So it's just not relevant. Mm -hmm. that, it's not like a concern. I'm not like, damn, I got to get on LSF. I need a funny <laughs> clip. It's more like I need a good clip for my YouTube. And if that clip is relevant to LSF and gets posted there, then fine. But I don't, I, it doesn't, I don't care much. Yeah. You've, you've been on there before too. I feel like that one pogo struck clip. Yeah. I had pogo stuck on there. I had the kingdom hearts. Like mm -hmm. I had, I had tried it too. I had tried it as an Avenue maybe for growth, mm -hmm. you know, like the kingdom hearts clip was fabricated just to be like a good clip that would hopefully get on LSF <laughs> and, and it didn't pay off, you know? And I was like, you know, might as well just have better YouTube videos and that pays off. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Oh, thanks so much for, Taking the time yeah, today, bud. Blood. It's good. Thanks for having you. me on. Yeah. Hope your work day is not going too harsh. No, nah, it's chilling. I'm taking all of next week off. A little Hell vacation. Yeah. R and R. Yeah, I'm gonna play some games. I'm Hang gonna out. keep grinding Valorant until I'm gold. You only have uh six days till the beta ends. And oh, true. That's a re rank. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, I gotta get gold before beta drops or ends. <laughs> Is there anyone uh, you want to shout out before sign off or? Yeah. Shout outs to ashcon.com. That's, that's like Ashcon. some stock software to site. I wish yeah. I had ashcon.com. Exactly. Yeah. Follow ashcon.com. I mean, not the website, but ashcon. Yeah. Yeah. Trust you, man. I, people ask me all the time. Cause I said it in a video once I was like, cause I, I brought up this story about this kid trying to do an interview. And I was like, if you guys want to do an interview, you can hit me up, you know, just be ready for it. But you know, you're actually doing interviews and, you know, we have a relationship and it's like, uh, you know, for the thousand people that asked me to do an interview, I, I, uh, it wasn't a thousand, but for all the people that did, I answered you. Cause you, you know, you've been doing it, you know, mm -hmm. and like, you know, what you're doing and you have a repertoire already. So it's, uh, it's cool. Cause a lot of people just ask and they've never done an interview before, uh, interview before. Yeah. Like no one wants to be your first man. <laughs> I think before I, like before first. I asked you, I actually watched that YouTube video and I was like, okay. I'm literally just going to copy what he said to do in that video. It just says like a yeah. meme almost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, all right, bud. Yeah. I'm not going to eat food. All right. Peace out, bud. Peace, Thanks bud. Thanks for joining me. Oh. All right.